Welcome to Daily Mantras. Hi friends, they do pay on a funny dog. I just lost my share because he never had it washed before. So it is washed by his sweet ears in her sunny best. And I'd like to also come on and talk about guys, let's be prayerful. Let's pray and not think. Slow down. Everybody is doing the most. You're doing too much. When you go in the store, get what you need like you always have done. Leave some for the next person because they're going to restack. This is the beginning of anything. Now, the Bible speaks a lot of things is happening in the in, on this earth. Now, it will get worse before it get bad. When you speak of peace, the Bible says destruction will come. Now, guys, I'm trying to let you know. If you're not ready to go back with Christ, this is during these horrible times when two in the bed, one taken, one left, two in the store, one gone, and the other one left. Okay, how strong are you with Christ? Are you really a servant of God? Are you just uh, a server in front of people on Sunday? Are you a server every day of your life? Do you talk to God every day? Do you pretend that you know him and you don't? Well, round by, round by this time, it's time to get it right. It's time to be real with God. It's time to talk to him. It's time to get your life over. It's time to turn from your wicked way. It's time to love your neighbor. It's time to be nice to your brother and sister. It's time not to be a bad guy. It's time to be a server and a giver. It's time to be a doer of the word, not just a hearer of the word. Let's put it in action. Now, if you're a servant of God, not to say you won't worry because you'll get weary, but God have this type of spirit that calms his people down. He will calm you down. God, stop running all over everywhere doing the mo. Do anything, let's pray. Now, they closing the school down and everything, and they say because they can get a control on that. Well, what's the difference in closing the school down and you're going to go skating? You're going to a party? You're going to a movie? It's still being around outsider. So what difference does that make? What I do, I'm keeping my family intact, but we go to the store when we need. We only get what we need as always. Because what? God said, take no thought for tomorrow. Because he knows that we need this thing. He said, do I not take care of the trees, the flowers, everything, the animals and stuff? Do I not take care of them? Why would I not take care of you? Okay, the thing is, if you believe, just a small gram of mustard seed. See, you believe that everything's going to be all right. Now, I'm not telling you the structure's not coming. This, this earth. This world is going to see destruction. The Bible already manifested years ago before I was born in you. So quit trying to do the most. If you want to do anything, if you don't know Yahweh, Jesus, uh, Ally, whatever y'all call him, um, if you don't know him for your personal saving, it's time to do it now. Get it right now. See, because if you die now, you won't have to die no more. And I don't mean dying physical, killing this flesh off for you. Let's start treating everybody right. Now, this is not for those that's not going to take heed and do right. These are for the people that have a pure heart, want to be right, and want to go back with God when he come back. Now, y'all, let's pray together. We don't have to be in the same city and state. We can come on one accord. We can pray at different times. You don't have to be, yeah, you pray together, you can stay together. And it's good to put a time on a prayer, but then you don't have to because you got prayer warriors that pray different time of the day. Now, let's keep it real. Be real, guys. Let's be real. Get this right. 
You're going to be okay if you do the will of God. God going to take care of his children. God is going to take care of his kids. Because when all this other stuff comes, God children is not going to be left here. See, that's why he's taking one and leaves the other. God going to come back and take his children out of there. Now, the one that get left still have a chance to do right, but it's going to be hard. Now, if you can't live it now, my Lord, you sure ain't going to be able to live it then. This just a sample. They started a couple of years ago with the other virus. Now, here is this another virus. Okay, then they started with the gas. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's keep it real. Let's get on one accord. Let's do this. Let's stand together, be together. Those of you that want to, let's get it right. Let's pray. Let's go to the store. I, when I go shopping, I go to the store and buy all my supply once a month for the whole month. I can't even do that because they don't took all everything. Everything is off the shelf. It's empty. But guess what? I'm not panicking. Now, this may sound a little far fast, but honey, if I run out of tissue, I'm going, I got a lot of trees. I'm going to cut them tree limbs off and wash them down and use them. I mean, that sound a little far fast, but I'm just saying. But I don't think it'll get that far because I got a God that I talk to every day that will provide my 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 need. And I don't worry about it. I'm not worrying about the fishes in the low and how I'm going to eat. Because God say, take no thought what we eat. Because he know what we need. So he made this body. I'm not worrying about it. But all I'm going to say, for those that want to be right, stop panicking. Pray about it. Believe it. And walk, step over this stepping stone. Because for the Christian, for not just Christian, the believer, to believe God's word and stand on it, it's a stepping stone for those. Now, we got some that just don't believe. Now, you can make it hard or it can be easy. Me, me and my house are going to serve the Lord. And those that don't want to serve the Lord, they don't want to step on this stepping stone, I can't save everyone. That's why when... The Bible say the church is going to be going to do the judging. That's why when it's time to judge, you're not going to even know your mom, your dad, your kid. Because if we knew we were judging our kids, we would break down and cry. Oh, Lord, not my mom. Oh, Lord, not my child. God is not like that. God's going to take that away. He going to wipe all your tears away. You ain't going to know your mama from your child. You ain't going to know all you going to know that you line them up and do what God's have us to do. So I'm just saying this. I'm not perfect. I strive every day. But the life I live, I try to live it the way God told me to. I don't make some bumps and I don't make some scratches. Even through all my whole life living for Christ, I have fell down. But you pick yourself up and you dust yourself off and you go and say no more. But you're not perfect. You can strive to do the right thing. And because the heart is pure, this is what God searches is the heart. So God, let's do this together. Let's stand together. Let's pray together. Let's be for one another. Those that want to be right, let's stand together. Quit going doing the most. Take, I mean, be calm, relax. I am so relaxed. People say, why are you just so like you don't wear because I got a heavenly father that looks down on me, take care of my house. Do you not know when the tornado came and told the street up, the school blew down, the houses were down, guess who I was still standing? Hallelujah. Mm. My house was standing. It took my fence. It took my dog house. And it even took my dog. But might I tell you, it didn't take nothing on my house. When they came and saw all these houses tore from mine standing, hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I thank him because you know what? You, When I believe God will help me, I believe it with all my heart and soul and mind. So don't tell me he's been too good. To me, he been too good for me to turn my back on. And I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to keep on standing up. And I tell you, keep on keeping on. Keep on speaking. I don't care how bad it looks. Honey, let me tell you, you still keep saying the same thing. 
that you've been saying. You keep believing that God is him, God all by himself. He don't need no help. Hmm. But I didn't come on here to sound like a preacher, but I did come on to show my baby and say some stuff because they doing the most. They doing too much to slow your roll down. Go shopping like you always have. Show no fear. Show no fear. God got this. We got it. Just do what God asks you to do. You're going to be all right. This is from Billy Nursery, and this is Baby Faith. Pray for us as we pray for you. And just wrap your arms around each and every one of us. We don't have to be there, but just take your arm and squeeze yourself. And you squeeze in your brother and your sisters, your nieces and cousins, uncles and aunts. Oh, everybody, you squeezing them. Pray for the universe. I'm not telling you everybody's going to be saved and right. But what I'm saying, pray for everyone. For those that want to be right, they will be saved. For those that don't, they're between you and God. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.